up boys welcome back to another video today on the channel on the euro 2020 mod we have a special one today where we're adding club teams to euro 2020 if you missed it last week we added teams from the copa america into euros we added brazil and we added argentina into euro 2020 that one is on the channel along with just tons of other euro 2020 videos that we've done we got the chat rocking with us today we are adding psg we are adding liverpool and we are adding barcelona to euro 2020 if you guys are new to the channel we basically do career mode experiments my player every single day on the channel so if you're new first off leave a like subscribe Less than 60% of you guys who watch this video are subscribed. So please, right now, hit that subscribe button. Make it turn gray. And also, if you are new, comment down below if this is your first time watching the channel. You know what? Let's just do this today. Comment down below how long you have been watching me on YouTube for. I'd like to see just everyone. And boys, before we get into this one, we are back talking all things Mountain Dew. It is the year of Dew, of course, and I'm helping partner with them again to bring you my flavor of the month, Major Melon. We're going to give a quick review, taste test, that open. Can we get the... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is... Oh, that sound. It's just beautiful. Mountain Dew major melon perfect for the summer man could we get the focus on it literally just so refreshing watermelon flavored mountain dew here it is oh yeah oh 100 my favorite flavor it is so freaking good you got the artwork on the bottle can we get a focus yet again there it is man you guys can check out year of dew we helped to give away a car last month they're doing a ton of other giveaways also pick up mountain dew at your local speedway and um click the link top of the description yearofdew.com go check them out go get yourself a mountain dew we got a ton more cool content coming with them as for the review major melon it's a 10 out of 10 it has to be a 10 out of 10 one more sip mm. it's a 10 out of 10 all right 100 year of dew thank you for helping to sponsor the video sponsor the channel pick a mountain dew for yourself and with that let's get back into the video boys i think we just got nuked um I think we've been nuked. Hello? Nuke Let's go, bro! Oh my god, my ears! Oh my god, my ears. My ears. Is it over? Okay. Oh my god, my ears. Let's go, man. Literally mid-recording, we get hit with a massive donation, Stefan. You know what? I don't do shout outs in the videos, but you just deserved a, a shout out with that dono right there, bro. Okay, right. Now that, that uh, my eardrums are destroyed and that's out of the way, let's show you guys the club teams competing in Euro 2020 and the, the nations that we've replaced them with. Okay, so we'll head on over to team sheets. And since we added three club teams, we did have to replace three national teams. And I've tried to replace some of the more weaker nations. Except for one that I'm, I'm still confused why I replaced them. But you'll, hold on. You'll see in a minute. We start with Finland. Barcelona replaces Finland. And I, again, I tried to choose the ones who have a usually don't win the Euros when we simulate. I'm sorry, Finland. I, I just had to do it. Now, since these are replacing the nations, they Barcelona keeps Finland's formation. And I actually don't know how this is going to work. Because... We have Griezmann here on our team, but he's also on France. You know what? Let me look at France and see if he's actually on France. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't know how that's going to work. Is there just, I guess there's just going to be multiple like Griezmanns and multiple players that they play for the same national team and club team that's in this. Why is PK at left wing? Get PK out of left wing. Messi, Griezmann and Dembele is going to be our front three. We also had to take out a few of the lower rated Barcelona players just because you're only allowed to have so many players on a national team. All right, is this the final call? I think I do want to start Coutinho. Out of all the national teams, I do think Barcelona is probably going to finish behind all of the ones that we're adding. PSG, Liverpool, Barca. I think they're the worst of the three that we've added. Also, I don't know why I've chosen these three. I just wanted to go for one. I, I sh You know what? I really should have added a Serie A team and a Bundesliga team as well. We should have done one from each of the big five leagues. But here's what we could do. If you guys could hit 10,000 likes on this video, if you really like this one and want me to add more club teams, I will do another 
video. So 10K likes. Let me know down below if we did this again, which club teams would you guys want to see next? Right, we have good news. North Macedonia, I have spared you this time, right? I've kept you in the game. So prove me wrong. Prove me, prove to me why I kept you in. All right, I want to see North Macedonia in this hit that make it out of the group stage. Up next, Scotland. I'm sorry, they have been replaced. I, I just, it's just, it's just what I went with. I don't know. Neymar, Mbappe, Di Maria. And what are we saying? Do we want to keep, do we want to keep this five at the back? Honestly, I think we might want to keep five at the back. It really does just fit the team Scotland's formation. So let's give it a go here. Right wing back, left wing back. I mean, Bernat and Florenzi. Well, Florenzi is a decent attacking fullback. Bernat, yeah, not so much. Acardi comes off the bench. Um, I'd like to see Draxler come off the bench. I'd like to see Sarabia come off the bench. Who do we replace him for? Let's replay. Actually, you know what? No. Actually, yeah. Sarabia for Keen. PSG, in my opinion, is going to be the best one. I think I I'm personally going rocking with PSG as my favorite to win it. Now, here's the one I kind of regret. I put Liverpool on the Ukraine. And the Ukraine is actually, like, in real life, still in the tournament. Well, actually, when this video goes up, they may not be in the tournament anymore. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Well, that doesn't really matter. Oh, no. So maybe when this video goes up, the Ukraine has beaten England in Euro 2020. I highly doubt it, but I think I think England's probably going to win it. For this team, we're doing the 4-3-3. Well, no, because they have a center forward. What is The false nine is what uh, Liverpool usually uses, I believe. Mane, Firmino, Salah. In the midfield, we got to go find out. Dude, oh, my God. Look at how many Liverpool players are in Euro 2020. Obviously, Trent didn't make the team. VVD didn't make the team. They got a few rejects on this team. Yo, I just thought of another sick video that we could do. Putting a team of reject players in Euro 2020 to see if they could win. So, like, a team with VVD, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Holland, Like, to see if the players from Europe who didn't make the Euros or who aren't competing in it, like could actually win it all together. So as for Liverpool though, we're gonna rock with this. Joe Gomez in, hmm, who else? I think this is it. I think this is just the, the normal starting 11. I don't know. I'm really hoping that the game doesn't crash because players like, uh, well, who, who would it be on here? Players like a Wijnaldum is on the Netherlands and also on my team. I'm hoping it doesn't crash the game. And if it does crash the game, this isn't gonna work and you're not even gonna see this. Right, without further ado, it is time to get into Euro 2020 with our club teams, and we are going to be controlling all the teams I just showed you. All right, time to take Finland, time to take Scotland, and time to take the Ukraine to glory. Let's freaking go. Every team I've made sure when I when I chose these three teams to add them to, I've made sure they're all in different groups. I don't want I don't want all my teams in the same group because i mean i guess i guess if we did have three teams in the same group there's a chance that they could all go through but i'd rather not have that so we will begin with the group stages should i sim that should i sim all the group stages without showing you guys like we normally do or i don't know is that something you guys would want to see me simulate all the group stages right away you know what it's only like nine games isn't it so let's go we'll do this quickly though game one of the group stage finland leading us off or barcelona i should say with a win i wish there was a way for me to change their name psg czech republic probably the most difficult group out of the three and it's another three to win biggest matchup so far liverpool versus the netherlands wijnaldum coming up against himself should be, be oh should be vvd up against himself but he's not in it Liverpool fall to the Netherlands, man. How? I would be genuinely shocked if one of our teams gets grouped. I don't, I realistically don't think it's possible. They're all too good. What, they all have to at least get out as the third place team, if, if that. I didn't replace North Macedonia. Imagine North Macedonia beat Liverpool. I would cry. Oh, man. I, you know what? I, I kind of wanted to see that happen. Scotland and England, or shall I say PSG versus England. I'm, I'm just going to probably keep calling them the nations because it's just right there. Freaking Juan Bernat scoring the game winner. Yo, what? Right, it's looking good. Assuming that this one is won by Liverpool, every team will have made it out. Yeah, every team's made it out. Probably top of the group. Last set of games right here. Finland against Belgium. And there it is. Oh, wait, no, they've lost. Barcelona lose to Belgium. Dude, watch, watch. They're not going to be able to beat the big club so far. They really haven't. I mean, yes, we saw England lose, but like... Belgium over Barcelona and then what we also had 
What was the other one? Netherlands over Liverpool. So far, PSG is the best team, I believe. And they're looking like they're going to, yep, get themselves nine points in the group. The only club to do it. And here it is. The group stage has officially finished. Italy and Wales through Turkey potentially as a third place team. And there's that right there. Unlucky Barcelona. They will go through. But as the second place club, that actually could benefit them, you know. I, I don't know who they're going to play, but we'll find out. And look at this too, man. Liverpool, six points. They just lost to the Netherlands, right? That's the only thing that held them back right there. They also go through as the second place team, which means that PSG was the only team to go through the top of the group. And that's the only team that we probably didn't want them to go through top of the group. Because that means they're going to have to play someone from Group F. They're literally going to have to play Germany, bro. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, dude. I... I think, I think it's genuinely going to happen. I think two of our teams are going to get knocked out here. I think Barcelona will probably beat Wales. But Liverpool against Italy, I don't like the odds in that one. And I don't like the odds in this one either. PSG against Germany. <laughs> Yo, okay, hold up. We got to see if there's any duplicates in here. Because, like, no, there really isn't. I mean, France's Griezmann is in there. But, no, there's no duplicates in the top goal scorers. France's Dembele. Dude, we, like, none of our three club teams have any, like, standout players so far. I guess mine is Florenzi. Yo, Florenzi has three goals. You know what? Fair enough. Here we go. The group stage. Which of our club teams will come furthest, and will any of them win? Let's find out. Game number one. Here it is. Barcelona against Wales. The easiest matchup of the three teams, and Barcelona secures the win. Here come the big ones. Liverpool against Italy <sighs> moment of truth will two teams be making it through they will oh my god Liverpool has taken down Italy what a start to the round of 16 and it ends with Scotland and Germany aka PSG who I thought was the best team but they might go out right here they have dude no PSG was literally the best one Ugh. isn't that crazy man that's what you get for topping the group and having to play Germany. It's so stupid. Are you kidding me? No! Our clubs are playing each other in the quarterfinals. <laughs> why? Why would you why would you do this to me, man? We've literally gotten the most unlucky draws. Okay, well, we're gonna get a winner of these three club teams right here, which can make it further. Mane is sneaking up amongst the top goal scorers. So here it is. Aut who's got themselves an injury. Fabinho on a red card. That, that's gonna hurt. We'll have a winner of the three. Which of these three club teams is the best after this game? But whichever team advances is gonna keep playing and try to win the whole thing. Here we go. Barcelona against Liverpool. The winner is... It's gone to Liverpool! Oh my god. I figured as much that they would take that. There it is. Liverpool is the best of the three club teams. They're on to the semis. Three, no, two matches left right here. And it's Liverpool against Belgium. France against Portugal. You know what? Just cue the sad music right now because I already know that this is going to be an L. RIP Liverpool. It's been a good run. Take your... No, they've actually done it. Let's go. Oh my God. Into the final. It's definitely going to be against France. It has to be. Liverpool, in my opinion, the best team in career mode. They just dominate career mode. They're also dominating the Euros. And here it is. It is France against Liverpool. Oh my God. For the final of Euro 2020 with club teams involved, can Liverpool take down France? Here it is. The winner of Euro 2020. Guess God to France. No, Liverpool gets so close and then they choke. Are you serious, man? The one time I actually want Liverpool to win, bro, and they lose, they can never do me right in FIFA, I swear. What an ending. Sadio Mane, although Liverpool lose, Mane grabs the golden boots. Mbappe ties it along with Lukaku. Henderson for Liverpool amongst the top goal scorers. Coutinho for Barcelona amongst the top goal scorers. Obviously, Ferenzi for PSG. I still can't believe we took the L there. If you guys do want to see more club teams be added, let me know. 
in the comment section because I'd love to do this again with other club teams. Also, you gotta hit 10K likes. Thank you guys so much for watching. And with that, we'll catch you guys later. Peace.